Beautiful. That was Ink Blots by Ingrid Laubrock, who's going to be back in a second to talk to us about it. I love that, and I love the name of the piece, Ink Blots. Are you going to ask her about it? I, I can. Why don't you? I will. When she shows up. I will. And I think it's... Ingrid, I think Ingrid is coming on. Okay, I think... I think we're connected. Yay. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that great piece and that great performance. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> honor. Tell us, Where tell us about right? the title. Sorry, I, I didn't hear. Oh, we overlap. Sorry. Uh, I was where, where are you located right now? Uh, I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah, I stayed the whole. I'm going to get rid of this scrap. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a torture device. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah, I've, I've stayed in Brooklyn the whole time during the pandemic. And tell us about the title of your piece and how it connects to the music. Right. So the, this piece is actually dedicated to uh, my yin yoga teacher. I started um, doing that at the beginning of the pandemic because I felt I needed something to kind of settle me. And this is it's a, like a very... Um, first of all, her name is Anne-Marie Ai, and she's really brilliant. And her, the, the, the approach is very like meditative and introspective. And you spend a lot of time like trying to really just feel different parts of your body. And, um, but you also get, get, uh, sort of invited to explore discomfort, which seemed a good tool to have in, in times like this, you know, so you kind of, uh, you sort of learn a little bit to embrace that not everything is to be comfortable all the time. And just out of curiosity, is that online or do you Yes, go yeah, we're doing it, uh, we're doing it with Zoom meetings. 
I have a personal interest in this, so. Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> I, can, I can send you the, we actually have <laughs> quite a few musicians who join in, you know, we're like a group who meet regularly on, uh, since, since then, and it's really beautiful. Really and the, the whole slow opening of the, of the piece you played, is it, were, was it multiphonics or were you growling or what, what were you? Yeah, it's, it's like a structured improvisation with the, the, the slow opening until, pretty much until the frenzy uh, are all different multiphonics. And I think there's been a, a severe lack of po polyphony in my life. So I, I'm like exploring chords. <laughs> And let's just like, just for people who aren't musicians who are watching and listening, why don't we just tell them what a multiphonic is? So yeah, it's kind yeah. of an amazing thing, right? It's basically a chord or a chord that you play on the saxophone by um, using false fingerings and interrupting this big tube. You almost have to imagine the, the saxophone is a big tube of metal and you, you're interrupting it in, in unusual ways and coaxing out partials of overtones while um, so you, you, you have some lower fundamentals that stay and then partials that get coaxed out by the pressure fingerings, um, the larynx, imagine. And I'm so you're getting, two, you're getting two and three notes and more sometimes. Yes. And, the, and, the, and everything's five. beating. <laughs> yeah, everything's beating. It sounds totally, totally crazy and amazing. It's also amazing how your description of the meditative practice like the minute you described what that was like, I could hear it in the music. Mm -hmm. You know, the sense of sort of um, troubled stasis or, you know, it, it really, um, you know, like I really heard it. So it was really kind of beautiful. Yeah, there is that. And there's also, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of exploring what is considered ugly sounds, you know, and finding the beauty in them. And, and there's so much in that, right? Like when you, when you meditate on those sounds, you find out by manipulating a little bit of your lip, what happens, what changes, something, something always changes and it becomes quite personal. Um, yeah. It is, it is going to be interesting to look back at this time period and look at the work created because I think, it, you know, as David is saying, uh, it's, I don't know if you think you just referred to it, but the um, response to this moment, you know, and, and, and you're talking about responding to difficulty and discomfort and, you know, uh, another approach people have had is I need something really soothing, you know, and just, is there going to be some way that this time period is identified because of the current, you know, pandemic? It's just, it's going to be, I, I, don't, I don't think I could put my finger on it right now, but it's going to be interesting to look back and see the work Yes, and I think there's going to be like really an incredible burst of release and, and creative release, which I'm very much looking forward to, you know, I'm very much looking forward to hearing what people come up with post pandemic, because we are limited right now, but the limitations of have something positive too. Because if you're not in dire straits, you have the time to introspect. I have realized that I hadn't, hadn't really stopped since I was 18 years old, you know, and this is mm -hmm. the first time that I'm not like traveling a lot and um, I'm discovering different things. Luckily being in a situation where m my family or nobody directly has been sick. Um, and my husband is a drummer. So we have been playing and recording duets also since last March, we know on episode 47, we put them up <laughs> on Bandcamp and it's been an incredible, uh, thing to explore what you can do with drum and saxophone <laughs> over you know in without trying to you, you know trying to still stay creative and fresh and and involved and it's it's been interesting still though i i think of you as being you know sort of like a you know the ultimate collaborative artist because you play with so many great musicians and you play with them in all different combinations and many of them are people who are you know people that you know come through the bang and the can sphere as well and and so you know i can just imagine that this moment you know for someone who is so truly collaborative is really kind of like a um, it must be so um frustrating to not be able to you know reach out the way you normally do yes i mean i miss it like i i really miss it so much and i miss um live performances, I miss going to them. I miss, this is my social life as well as my, you know, as, as well as my musical life, this is what I live for. And uh, I am glad about these kind of live streaming of, of options and I'm glad this can be done, but I, I for one can't wait to be back in a, 
in a room somewhere with other people and blending with their sounds, you know. I mean, I, I found myself walking and cycling like a maniac last year and often walked to um, Prospect Park. And in the summer, there were people playing everywhere outside, right? Because yeah. that's what people could do. And I was in tears at times because I, I just missed this spirit, you know, the spirit that you cannot capture on, on Zoom. So I'm looking forward to that coming back. I know, we, you know, yeah. when we first started the online virtual marathons, we, 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 well, before we started, them, we were trying to figure out, well, what do we do during this time period? How do we respond to this? And we really wanted to do something you know, similar to people reporting from Italy and places. Everybody go on your roof, <laughs> whether it's legal or not, you know, and let's have a citywide event. You know, I don't know. We just were trying to, to draw a, 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 something, you know, to have an imagination about how to respond. And I love what you're saying about live performance. I wish we maybe we'll figure out something uh, to do on the streets. But um, but certainly, like like you're saying, uh, it's it's not the same. And, um, but I, I, I relate to that uh, impulse also, just let's get out of here. <laughs> Thanks but so it much, is great Ingrid. that you kept it, uh, that, that you're doing this and you're keeping, it, you're keeping it alive and fresh and this is really wonderful. Thanks so much for with um, us. We're, uh, thanks so much for the beautiful performance and um, thanks for, for Inkblots. Thanks Ingrid. Thank you Ingrid.